right, everyone, it's that time of the year. It's time to rack up what I think the best, most underrated movies, and then, of course, the video games, too. But first, the movies. Top 13, in my opinion. And why top 13? Oh, come on, because it's 2013, and then we're going to go into 2014, of course. And don't forget, of course, the most anticipated movies for 2014, but let's get first things first. Number 13, World War Z. Yeah, of course, this is why I put this at the bottom of the list. I know it was a mixed bag, but in my opinion, it was a well-done zombie film. And yeah, of course, it was PG-13 rated, and despite probably being inferior to its novel counterpart, but I gave it a rent, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a fun ride. Now, of course, judging by the trailer, the zombies might look CGI-ish, but it didn't really bother me for the most part. I mean, yeah, it is what it is. And Brad Pitt, I'd say he played it pretty well. Of course, you know, it sets up for a sequel and all that nonsense, but it was a very well-done thrill ride. Great action movie. Number 12, Despicable Me 2. Well, not much to say about that one. If you saw my review on it, you'll see that I enjoyed it very well. I lo loved the first one, it had great animation, and so did this one as well. Great voice acting, great slapstick, great comedy overall. You gotta love those minions, right? Number 11, Man of Steel. Okay, why on the bottom of my list so far down? Well, of course, because of the mixed bag this one got, so I want to avoid criticism and shit-talking comments, but I'm sure I'm not the only one who enjoyed this one, which I did, obviously. It's a Superman reboot. Definitely better than Superman Returns, by far. Yeah, there's some CG and the excessive length, but hey, who the hell cares? You can get over all that, as well as the stupid glasses thing at the end, but great setup for a reboot, and hopefully a start to a great new franchise. Number 10, Pacific Rim. Yeah, I gave this one a rent, and I had to say, wow. A bit generic for most parts, but, I mean, Christ, who couldn't argue? Giant robots fighting giant monsters? Man, it was awesome. Camera zooming was great, and overall, great action flick. There's not much to say about this one. Story's well put together, and, well, reminds me of something that I'm definitely looking forward to next year. Not, let's not jump the gun. Number nine. Captain Phillips, a true story movie about a man on a ship that, of course, gets taken over by hijackers or pirates or whatever back in 2009. Very well put together story, great off the edge of your seat thriller, and very well done performance by Tom Hanks. What can you say about that? He's definitely looking to hopefully snag an Oscar or at least get a nomination for this one. Number 8, The Heat. Yeah. I didn't think much of Sandra Bullock and Melissa McCarthy teaming up as two cops, but Melissa McCarthy, who could argue she's freaking hilarious? Yeah, I mean, Christ. I didn't like the Identity Theft movie too much if you saw my review, but this one makes up for it big time. I mean, who could argue? I mean, yeah, of course there's a lot of obscenity in this movie said by uh, Melissa McCarthy, but, well, it's R-rated for that reason. And it's, in my opinion, a contender for best R-rated comedy of the year. Number 7. Star Trek Into Darkness. Alright. The longly anticipated sequel to the reboot directed by J.J. Abrams finally comes and sees the light of day. And when I say it lives up to the hype, you bet your ass. Yep. So, I know I didn't review this one and, of course, I anticipated it, but I could say I definitely enjoyed it. Plot might be a little bit thin, and the 3D, of course, uh, was pretty unnecessary for the most part, but the action sequences and everything that counts, well, is what counts. Well done, J.J. Abrams. Number 6, The Conjuring. Best horror film of the year, hands down. I already reviewed this one. I don't think I have to get into too much detail. It's probably one of the first R-rated horror films, like I said before, that doesn't require nudity, strong language, Teens getting butchered or killed. I mean, it's just straight up classic horror done right. Not much to say there. Number five, Thor the Dark World. Of course, I just recently reviewed this one, so I don't think there's much to say about this one. Great action, great slapstick, of course. Yeah, if you saw the first horror movie. An overall great Marvel sequel. Even better than Iron Man 3, like I said before. Well done, Marvel. Number four, this is the end. 
another great R-rated comedy. And in fact, I find this one even funnier. Of course, it takes um, liberties with uh, serious type of things, like about the end of the world, or rapture, or whatever it is, and it makes a comedy out of it, sort of like Zombieland did. But it works. I mean, and it's interesting to see how all the actors don't use character names. They keep their original names. And the take and all the... Everything is just so amusing in this movie. And it's just... Of course, it's not a kid's movie, like I said before. There's a lot of inappropriate things, but hey, it's R-rated for a reason. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better R-rated comedy than this one. Aside from The Heat, two of the best R-rated comedies of the year. Who could argue? Number three. Catching Fire. Yep. Another one which I just recently reviewed. Overall, big improvement over the first one with got rid of the shaky camera issues and overall great acting performances. If you read the book, if you haven't seen this, what are you waiting for? Go and freaking see it! Number two. The Hobbit Desmolation of Smog. Another one which I just recently reviewed, of course. If you haven't seen it, and you're a huge fan of Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, and you've seen the first one, go and freaking see it! Ugh, I don't think I have to say much more about that one. It's a great continuation, even though it leaves you on a cliffhanger. Sorry for the spoilers. Go and see it. And the number one best movie, in my opinion, of the year? Get your bats up and your balls ready. 42! Yep, the true story about famous color barrier breaker Jackie Robinson. Yep. Of course, I reviewed this one in text review, but overall I can say it hits more than a home run in my opinion. It hits a grand slam. Harrison Ford was outstanding, like I said before. The camera shots of Jackie Robinson himself on the field, not that he was bad either. He was fantastic, played by Chad Bosworth. But Harrison Ford is definitely looking, hopefully, to snag at least an Oscar nomination for this one. If not, I don't know what the hell is wrong with Hollywood for not giving him a nomination. He was fantastic as Branch Rickey, the man who signed the famous hero, Jackie Robinson. Despite all the abuse that he suffered, but hey, he took it like a man, didn't fight back, and became a world-class hero for Major League Baseball. What can I say there? Is it any wonder why they wear number 42 on his honorable day in baseball? Because, well, that's what he is, a world-class hero for baseball. So, that's my top 13 best movie list of 2013. So, until next time, keep watching.